Don't mind me, I was just polishing off the good old microphone because I was on a podcast. What? I was on a podcast! Yes, friends, I'm Joe Koloski, the super brave teacher, and I, I don't know what voice I'm gonna do, and I was on a podcast. Super brave teacher on a podcast. Super brave teacher on a podcast. I'm gay and I was on a podcast. Getting out my story. Getting out your story. Tipping Google and YouTube and radically positive way. Yeah! Like this video. Share this video. Like this song. If you didn't like my singing, like it. If you did, like it. If you would like me to put down the microphone, like it, share it, do what you do. You're awesome. Because every time you do, you tip through Google and YouTube and radically positive makes a new way for all LGBTQ teachers and students. We're coming after you, Google. We're coming after you, YouTube. We're tipping you positive, positive, positive for all. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to put this away. Put it away, Joel. We know you're proud of yourself. Put it away. So, yes, this guy, the super brave teacher, Joel Karlowski, that's me. I was invited to be on a podcast. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. I've been really thinking about the importance of sharing our stories. I keep saying it again and again and again that we need to share our stories from the wildest places. We need to share all of our stories so we can collectively come together and realize that we are not alone. Now, it's easy to say that. It's very hard to do that. Let me give you the story. So a friend of our friend, who is now our friend, has a friend who has a podcast. I'll say that again. A friend of a friend, who is now our friend, who is now my friend, has a podcast. And that friend, that friend who has a podcast is named Allie Stark. Allie Stark is awesome and I am going to link her stuff below. She has a podcast called Gutted. Gutted Stories. And it is awesome. You get to hear all these stories and you get to hear about how people lost track with their instinct, lost track with their gut, and what they did to reclaim their story, reclaim their gut, and reclaim their instinct. And I don't, I'm not doing it justice. She is awesome. Check it out. Go on, go on her website. I'll leave it down below. Go on iTunes, type in gutted. You will find it and you will listen to some beautiful interviews and some beautiful stories. She is quite gifted. And she asked me to be on her podcast. So, to be honest, when I first heard about it, I was like, yes, 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 I will, I'll do this. And I think she asked me to be on it in September, right? And so I like booked on her thing and I scheduled it out and I'm like, you know what, end of October, that's gonna be just great, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this end of October. So finally, end of October comes and I'm like, oh my goodness, I actually had to be interviewed? And she's actually gonna ask some really deep personal questions and personal stories. And I was getting nervous because it's like, um, it's very easy to be like, oh, I'm the kindergarten teacher, I'm a, I'm a Spanish immersion kindergarten teacher, I'm the super brave teacher, tipping Google and YouTube. But the more you share your story, the scarier it is because it's very real and it's, I didn't just become this person. There's a lot that has happened to me on the way, good, bad, beautiful, in between all that stuff, right? So I knew she was gonna ask me some questions. So the day came and like, okay, the. The days so before came and I was like, not sleeping as well. You know me, I was like kidding out more. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So I like got home and I like distracted myself. I was like doing some laundry and just like cooking and get things set. And then I like set up my space. So I like put on this t-shirt, this exact same t-shirt, this tanked up. And I like put on some essential oils and I got my LaCroix and I'm just like ready to go. So I'm set and I'm going and all of a sudden we connect and we did a Skype call and we did the Skype interview and it was like an hour and a half of just talking and I'm sure the podcast itself will be about 45 minutes, but it was us talking and sharing and so many beautiful things happened and I wish you could see me being interviewed because I think who I am is a very like, ah, type of a person and I'm not, I, I like when people can see my, my non-verbals, but so just imagine when you listen to this, so click below and listen to it after this. When you listen to it, think of my non-verbals. It's the majority of the time I'm doing what I'm doing right now is I'm looking out and I'm really thinking and I'm trying to be clear. And then sometimes I'm just caught up in my stories and yeah, yeah. So I'm really proud of myself and that's why I'm sharing it, the link below. So please, 
click on the link below, listen to the story, listen to more of Allie's stuff. It's really impressive. It's really amazing the work she's doing. And this is what she's doing is what I'm trying to do is little by little share stories and share my story and get my voice out there and word out there and inspire more people to do the same. So like it, listen to it, like her stuff, subscribe to her stuff. You won't be disappointed. It's pretty awesome. Um, the stories I tell get really personal. Um, stuff I haven't put out there before, but I'm excited for you to hear it. So listen to it, check it out, um, send me love, tell me you're proud of me. Um, I know that I am telling myself that, Joel, you are loved, I am proud of you. Um, thanks for watching this. Thanks for watching this short, nice little video. Like it, share it, get the word out that not only am I the super brave teacher who's tipping Google and YouTube and writing a positive except anyway for all people, yeah! But, that it's important to continue to share our stories and to continue to be heard and to continue to have visibility and voice for all, for all. You are appreciated, you are enough just for being who you are. Thanks for being that person. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being who you are. And you'll hear on, on the podcast, I did the same thing to Allie at the end because I was just like, I need to tell you too that you appreciate and you are loved just for being you. So just like I said to you, I said it to her and I'm gonna say to myself, Joel, you're loved.